Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is a friend. I'm a designer. I also love building the web projects. In today's video is I'm going to show you how I build this uh, MFT style crosscut jig. So as you can see, this one is based on a concept already made uh, using the MFT table of Festool. But then uh, this one is just a very simple, very inexpensive uh, build uh, that would allow me to, to do a crosscut using my uh, cordless uh, circular saw and then this particular MFT style feature is because uh, if uh, you're going to cut uh, longer pieces into half so you're not going to do like this slide the whole material underneath so in this uh, particular feature with the MFT style is that uh, to be able for you to to, to put the, the material that you will be cutting is you're just going to get your material and if uh, this one is like this so ready to cut and then you only have to do this and then put your material directly just like that and then get the cross cut jig and put this one and then start cutting so let's go guys and uh, let me show you how I build this so you guys uh, if you're new don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, please uh, give this video a thumbs up a like and if nakatulong itong video na to share. so let's go so I have here uh, most of the material na gagamitin ko for this build so I have here angle bar this one is stainless because ito lang yung meron ako so dalawa yan <clears throat> so in guys as you can see uh, ito yung uh, temporary setup ko no tinry ko and then uh uh, clamp clamp so as you can see I have a clamp here and also clamp here then the riser is this uh, off cut scrap plywoods here and then ginamitan ko lang siya ng other plywood dito sa taas and then kinlamp ko yung uh, stainless steel dito sa uh, riser so as you can see ito yung circular so yan so, so far, okay naman siya, rigidity, as you can see, yung buong table, yung gumagalaw. I think secure naman yung uh, stainless steel na gagamitin natin yung rail for this setup. So, yan yung gagamitin ko. And then, ito rin yung gagamitin ko para ikat yung mga spacer na gagamitin ko to clamp the stainless steel into the riser, which is this one. So, kukunin ko yung distance nito. So, dalawa dito and then also on the other side, sa top portion and then I will going to screw this particular plywood uh, clamping this particular uh, stainless steel into this riser so let's go so now guys is kukunin ko na itong setup na to and gagawin ko is ganito but then before that is kukunin ko muna yung base and dahil this one are plywood yan so kailangan ko pa silang iglue and then i gagamitan ko rin siya ng finishing nail or brad nail para at least uh, mabilis ang trabaho para hindi na ako maghintay na matuyo so the same sa kabilang side so this is 5 pieces 5 din itong sa kabila So for this one guys, I'm just going to uh, screw this one first, uh, one, only one in the center, 
Yan. Then, doon naman sa kabila. So, yan. Re-emove natin to. Okay. Titingnan natin kung magsaslide ba. Yun. So, as you can see, nagsaslide. Yan. And no play. So now guys, I already uh, drive fitted the main rail na gagamitin ko for the circular so cross cut rail and I also have here the base so this particular base I actually cut uh, this one using my CNC machine and I have some holes in here so these particular holes are uh, fit uh, this engineering plastic rod this one is 22 mm so here so just like this one so the purpose of this log hose is uh, for me to uh, create a, a square cut or a perpendicular cut uh, to the main cross cut uh, rail and then also I have this one is the topmost fence and for this one this particular a uh, small piece of plywood I can use this one to as a reference so this particular first hole here is going to be put something like this and then I have another two holes at the back which is uh, this one this first one is going to be the uh, 90 degrees and then this one is going to be the 45 degrees so uh, I don't know if you can see this one so uh, I'm just going to take the camera. So as you can see, this is the setup that I have. And uh, this particular setup is going to be just like that. So the main rail is going to be in this side. And then this setup is going to be perpendicular. So 90 degrees yeah, sa rail. And then if I'm going to transfer this particular dug holes at the back portion. And just like that, this one is perfectly uh, 45 degrees uh, uh, in relation to the main uh, circular so rail just like this one so that's the setup and by doing this kind of setup I can move this one here just like that and then just like this the same way as the other side I can also do this one here and this one is 45 degrees this one is 90 degrees in relation to the main a uh, circular saw cross cut rail so this one is really adaptable I can move this one anywhere I want depending on the uh, depth of the piece that I'm going to cut uh, plywood or wood and the next thing that I'm going to do is of course the main uh, feature that I haven't seen from other uh, circular saw cross cut jig is going to attach the is going to attach the main rail which is uh, this one like so so just like that so the circular saw is going to ride along this uh, angle bar and then what I have in here is I'm going to install this hinge so yeah so this particular hinge I'm going to install this one on top so sa, sa taas ko siya install which is somewhere in here I already have a notch so nagawan ko na siya ng rabbit yan so dito I will going to install the hinge here and then this particular hinge I'm going to fix these two in the main base uh, so that uh, this one will not move so this particular uh, hinge is a ball bearing hinge uh, this one is uh, stainless steel very thick very solid and this one is for main door so this one is uh, 4 by 3 uh, na hinge so very solid you know 
So yeah, so let's install this one into this rail. So this is how I am um, referencing this angle bar. So I have two duct holes and the next thing is going to check the verticality of it here. And the same way in this side. Just like that and then now uh, I already also clump the, the, the base or this uh, the other riser at the uh, top portion into the hinge and the next thing is going to be uh, screwing the hinge into the main riser so let's do that so now guys we're already done uh, screwing this uh, hinge into the base so we can remove this one here remove this one here and we can remove everything so this is what I am uh, thinking for for creating this particular uh, circular so cross cut jig so that I can raise this one here so uh, the next thing is going to be putting some reference at the bottom here uh, that is for me to make sure that uh, this particular rail is when I put uh, this one down is going to be perfectly always perfectly uh, perpendicular to the dug holes because I also I, because uh, I'm going to use the dug holes as a reference for uh, putting the uh, material or piece just like this here so I'm going to put some kind of uh, stopper to prevent uh, the, the whole uh, rail uh, from shifting in each side so now guys uh, I have something underneath so if I'm going to put it like this one as you can see it is now uh, not going to fold down and the circular saw is also not going uh, uh, to fall down on the other side so in this case I'm just going to fix this other plywood underneath the next thing that we are going to do is of course this one so I already have uh, this particular bracket here this one is just a 1 by 2 uh, metal tubing so I'm going to glue this one in here so that this particular motion, the, the circular saw, will not fall down on the other side. So as you can see, so it will hold the overall weight. So yeah, I'm going to use this uh, heavy duty 3M double sided. And for this other one, it's more solid. Okay, and let's install this one here. And this one on the other side. I will clamp with this one. Okay, so I think, uh, okay na to. So let's remove this clamp. And then for this one, I think we're ready to cut our first or the, the groove as uh, na gagamitin natin for reference so now guys we are going to check this particular uh, fence here uh, to be uh, perpendicular to or 90 degrees dito sa ginawa kong first cut I think that's all good and we're good just like that and move back cut so the next thing that we're going to do after this one is we're going to try and uh, do some test cut uh, to see if it is is it square so yun guys, uh, this uh, particular MFT style uh, cross cut jig is already done. So the, the, the bracket that I put 
in this part here is already fixed and solid so uh, this will allow the circular saw to stick on the rail without falling down if i'm going to do s something like this and then if i'm going to uh, put uh, this one down in this side also i have the stopper on each side so that uh, this particular uh, crosscut jig will not wobble will not move and also i have here some uh, attachment so this one will allow me to to install or to cut uh, shorter ones like here so if i'm going to just cut a small one or a small piece then uh, i will just uh, use this particular uh, fence in here and i will not uh, use the whole one because uh, in that case i will do cut all the way and it would be uh, a pain in my back to 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 reach uh, all the way to that particular uh, dimension so the actual capacity of this one is uh, 60 uh, centimeter and if i'm going to cut smaller one then as i have said i'm going to use this uh, rail so in this case uh, this one is uh, 90 degrees for to this rail and then if i'm going to do or use this other one here this one is 45 degrees uh, to this rail so that i can do uh, miters for for any connection that I want and yeah so this one is uh, movable and adjustable or if I'm going to do a full cut 60 centimeter or 24 uh, inches and I can just remove this one easy and then I can put uh, the material and then I can do this and cut and then move back or I can after I'm done cutting just like that and then i'm going to get the materials that's being cut uh, with this jig and i'm done so now guys we're going to try this one so this one is my test piece so let's remove this one let's see if this one is straight again as you can see and it's perfect 90 so that's uh, the, the uh, main output perfectly 90 and I actually have uh, 45 degrees which is this one but then you I haven't uh, video this one so I'm going to try another one so cut this one uh, 90 degrees using the jig or the fence that can be adjusted This one is 45, that's the output, 45 degrees, and let's try and cut this other one, and this one, as you can see, it is very, very tight cut, very very nice so let's try i don't know if this outside is square but so in guys very nice very tight so in guys that's uh the basic output of this uh, cross cut jig that i made so thank you for watching peace